it feels like a counter reaction towards this whole uh, perfectly curated lives of people. Well, the trend behind it, so this, uh, let's say, value of Gen Z looking for more authentic ways to live life and express themselves won't go away. That will stay, 100%. Dear listeners, thank you very much for tuning in again to Rancho's Talks. And as you can hear, it's a very special episode. It's the first English episode, I guess. And this has a reason because I have an English-speaking guest with me. And this is Case Elans from Transactive. You might already know him because we had him sometimes as an expert at Rancho's Talks Weekly. And this time we made a small experiment because I took an observation or a topic from Brandros Talks Weekly and this time it's the topic of Be Real, so the hyped social media platform that you might already know. And I discussed this topic, so this hyped social media platform of Be Real together with Case and asked him for his opinion. Will this platform stay for a longer while or is it only a hype? And what is the reason that Be Real was developed? And what is the reason in our society that this Be Real social media platform is such a hype? So I would like to say enjoy it and thank you again for tuning in. So good afternoon, Case. Very great to have Hi, you. Colin. How are you? Good. Doing fine. Friday mm -hmm. afternoon. So Yes, uh, that's, that's perfect timing. Huh? <laughs> perfect timing. Yes. All right, then Then let's talk about our two topics. And I guess we have two interesting topics, of course. And these topics, yeah, they were touching me now for, for, for many weeks or a month even, I would say. And the first one I wanted to talk with you about was the topic of the new social media platform, Be Real. So this is something like the hype platform at the moment. And uh, I, I just learned that they have like 10 million users every day, active users. This is very important wow. for, for all the social media platforms to get exactly these figures. And I was just curious, what do you think about Be Real? Do you have any opinion already about this platform? Yeah, a small opinion. Uh, I'm not a user of it, but I'm also not a user of TikTok, so I'm late. Yeah, me but, neither. Um, <laughs> of <course>, okay. <laughs> but uh, no, of course, I heard about it. Uh, of course, I, I, I checked into it and, and understand at least uh, the basics. Uh, I asked my 16-year-old uh, son uh, last evening, like, hey, are you on Be Real? And he was. I, I think what's, what's quite interesting, actually, of it is that I don't know all the details about it, of course, but... Uh, it really seems to be a counter reaction to, let's say, the other social media. And that makes it, of course, from, from my perspective or, or, or transactive perspective, very interesting. It feels like a counter reaction towards this whole uh, perfectly curated lives of people. Uh, so where you have the um, more the millennial generation posting on Instagram, etc., and Yeah, curating everything. This this feels really like this this counter reaction uh, from Gen Z, and that's uh, from a sociological perspective or generational perspective, of course, very uh, interesting and on trend, so to speak. Yeah, that's that's interesting. The the word of a counter reaction. I think this was also my impression. But the question about this counter reaction is also, of course, how sustainable will it be? So, is it only a hype? Or is it only a counter reaction that it's maybe a short fire somewhere and 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 something that will be ending in, in in some month again? Because then we will have or we want to have this perfect life and the perfect images that we post on Instagram again. Or do you think it's something uh, where where maybe a real counter reaction or a new trend can evolve actually? Well, the trend behind it, so this uh, let's say value of Gen Z looking for more authentic ways to live life and express themselves won't go away. That will stay, 100%. Because that's a big need already that's manifested in many different forms. So I think Be Real is just one of those manifestations of a deeper need. The question you ask, okay, will Be Real, uh, will it stay? Or that's the question. I don't, I don't know. I don't have a glass bowl. It does address a certain need currently, which is let's uh, this 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 need of this generation to focus more on authenticity in this super filtered life, so to speak. But it all depends on how they will go on. It depends on will they come with new features, 
already now some of the aspects of the of be real are copied by TikTok already. So it it depends on 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 various things, and we must not forget with things yeah start as a hype. It's also something new, and what happens with new thing? You have the social component, especially for this young generation, which is on it. You know, they're in their 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 formative years. They're shaping their identity. So, oh, have you seen the new thing? That's also a bit how it works. So now it's interesting, but maybe in two months it will be uh, not so interesting as we have seen before with uh, all these other uh, social media platforms. So most probably it will be integrated into. Oh. And I asked my son, by the way, I asked my son, my 16-year-old son yesterday, because I knew that we were going to have a chat today about this. And I asked him, actually, because he's a user. And he said, no, it will go away. It's just now f- for the fun and you try it. And then he said like, yeah, it's another hour of spending on social media additional to all the others. And he said, uh, it's too much. Uh, so it will be bought by another in a month or so. <laughs> yeah, from a, from a branding perspective, I'm totally with you and your son as well. Because uh, yeah, you could see this with Clubhouse. You could see this with TikTok uh, being copied by uh, YouTube and of course by uh, Instagram with Reels. So I think this is more or less the, the, the logic way. It will be very interesting for Be Real how they will cope with this competition or with these facts at the end. So will they have new features that will dilute their brand or their promise somehow? Or will they say, no, we really stick to all our limits that we have at the moment? And this will be a very interesting point. But yeah, as, as you said, I think there are some logic ways and some clear ways uh, that we could already observe in the, in the past. Interesting about your uh, answer was that you said the trend of authenticity is not going away 100%. So this is a very, very cool opinion or a clear opinion. Maybe um, just to end our discussion about be real. The first question would be, do you have any idea what a hype means for the people? So from a social cultural perspective and also from a psychological perspective, what is like the interesting part about a hype? Why is a hype a hype actually? I I was just thinking about what is it doing with us as as a human being? Yeah, hype. I don't know exactly what it is. I know it's 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 described as a, a hype or a fad or a rage or as a short term topic that pops up. It's most of the time or it's almost always on product uh, product level. So it's it's always short term. And I guess it's it's more of a social component. Like, hey, somebody's using it. Oh, let's try it out again. And it, it's a sort of word of mouth <laughs> yeah. that goes on. And then it's hyped up and then it's uh, gone. Perhaps a hype could also be extend into more uh, a trend. And then you have all these definitions of trends. So maybe this could be a hype. Let us be real. But maybe the other social media platforms will start to think about, hey, what's behind this? And if they find out what's behind it, they can most probably uh, craft new ideas out of that to to be more uh, meaningful to uh, to this to this uh, to these generations. Because the message behind it is, hey, Gen Z is looking for this more authentic image of themselves, mm-hmm. and uh, I think that should be the story behind it. That's the lesson to to be learned. Very good. Which is a lesson relevant for all brands, I would say. Yeah. Very interesting. Maybe last question about about be real, and um, because you already said it's a counter reaction and it's a tendency to more authenticity out there. Can you describe it in a deeper way, where you say, okay, where does this counter reaction come from? Is it a logic reaction? There is something, and there will be a counter reaction. This is something that many of us hear many times. So there's a trend, and there's a trend against it. But is there also again from a evolutionary way or from a social cultural way or psychological way is there anything that again in us or in in the with the gen z where they're saying okay there is a natural instinct um to see or feel or whatever observe authenticity where you can also somehow explain this trend or counter yeah the, the, this is definitely something that has to do with with the formative years and the way they're raised so they're raised as as mobile natives which means they were always in this social uh, media environment for example and in all those years they grown up they have seen this this picture perfect images so it, it was always about okay you have to look greatest with the best clothing with the best uh, friends and this is now 
partially counter-reacting because, first of all, these kids currently have trouble to keep it up. In this age group, they have to do so much and think about so many things at the same time. So I think that's one of the reasons. And the other reason is this mental pressure. So they have the societal pressure. They have mental, increasingly mental issues. And what's also very important is that they are like the most pluralistic generation, which means thanks to, uh, for example, also living in a globalized world, they've grown up with much more diversity around them. So much more ethnicity, gender issues, etc. cetera. Um, how do you say it? The world is more uh, diverse. And being not perfect is therefore something that's for this generation quite common to see. They understand like, okay, well, not everybody can be perfect all the time. So those are, let's say, the deeper sociocultural layers beneath this uh, manifestation of embracing uh, authenticity as a concept. Great. Thank you, Kees, for this first explanation or and also your opinion and uh, your observations. 